Hello, world. Well, Halloween is over and I failed to finish this Halloween AI project in time, but I'm still going to work on it. So we will be using this uh, 32 by 64 LED matrix, and this is the last individual component before I start integrating every to everything together. This is the fifth video in my Halloween AI playlist, so please watch the other videos um, by clicking here and leave a comment if you know what I'm building. So welcome to the 160th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. Please consider subscribing to my channel and like this video. So the first thing we'll do is we'll start off by going through the parts list and then we'll assemble them together. So first, uh, we'll need a Raspberry Pi 4 uh, with a power adapter uh, that's not shown here next i bought this 32 or 64 by 32 rgb led matrix i actually have the three millimeter pitch i have the four millimeter pitch here but the if this uh the smaller number this is the closer the lights are together which means it looks better up close but the larger this number means the better it looks far farther away so uh, I have the three millimeter pitch and then what you'll need after that is uh, this bonnet this is an RGB matrix that sits right on top of the GPIO pins I recommend getting this 5 volt 4 amp power supply and I tried to use the Raspberry Pi power supply and it's just not enough voltage to push it through. And then finally, you'll need this 2.1 millimeter jack to screw terminal block to connect the power to this. And I'll leave non-affiliate links, which means I don't get paid to these Adafruit products in the description below. Okay, so now we'll assemble them together and then we will remote into our Raspberry Pi. Okay, so here we have our LED matrix. Then we're gonna turn it over to the back. And then on the left side, depending on which way you're looking at it, you should see a little word that says data in. And then on this side, you'll see data out. And then right here, you'll see the power. But we're going to start off with the data in and your LED matrix comes with a ribbon cable. So let's go ahead and install that. All right, you will also receive a power cable that has the red and black split. And then at the bottom, Yours will come with alligator clips, which I have stripped off. So, so I just have the exposed wires. So what you're going to do is it kind of doesn't matter which one you plug in because it has the same cables, but you'll see VCC and ground. The VCC is on the left side, so that is where your red goes. Okay, so now we have these two open ends right here. This is where you'll take the two millimeter jack right here and you will install this. So there's a positive and a negative and red is positive because you have it connected to the VCC, the voltage. So we're going to plug it in there. And then your black is the ground because you have it connected to the ground. And then on this one, there is a Phillips screwdriver or uh, screw. So go ahead and tighten those down. All right, now we're going to move the LED matrix to the side. And then we're going to get our Raspberry Pi 
4, mine is a 4. And then we're going to take our bonnet and we're going to just put the bonnet directly on to the um, GPIO pins. All right, so now you can get a spacer if you want to elevate it and make sure you don't accidentally ground something out. Um, but it sits nicely on your board like this. All right, so what you see here is the data cable, and this is on the bonnet. And then right here is the power, uh, I'm sorry, here is the power block. So what we're going to do is get our LED matrix, all right, and then just connect it to the uh, Raspberry Pi like that. All right, and now something I don't like is now you take your, um, so that's all you do. So we actually don't connect the power here. What you do is you connect your power supply that you bought that has an end like this. And this is where you connect the power to your LED matrix. All right, so your LED matrix is powered separately from your Raspberry Pi, and your Raspberry Pi gets powered by this normal one. So now we're going to plug in your Raspberry Pi. Now I have a standard Raspbian um, operating system on there, and so you can watch the video by clicking here to find out how to do that. All right, so now we're going to connect the power for both of the LED matrix and the Raspberry Pi. And then we're going to remote desktop connection in and start testing it. All right, so now that we have it all set up and turned on, as you could tell by the Raspberry Pi red light, now we're going to establish a remote desktop connection and you can watch this video if you wanna learn how to do that. So we're just going to remote desktop connection. This is my IP address for the Pi. The default username is password, but I have changed my, or the default username is PI. The password I've changed, and it's going to establish a remote desktop connection. So the first thing we're gonna do is write hello world using the command line. Then we'll go into the um, Python program so we can display an image. Okay, so let's go into our command line. And the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to get the git for this. So I will post links in the description to all this. And I am not going to run this, but you just type it in like this. And what we're doing is installing this RPI RGB LED matrix library dot git. So that is how you get it directly from GitHub. So go ahead and press enter and it will install it for you. And to make sure you have a successful installation, you can type in DIR and you can see the library right here, RPI RGB LED matrix. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get into that folder by typing CD RPI RGB LED matrix. Okay, now in blue, you can see we're in that folder. And for the first time you run it, you only have to do this one. We're going to build it. So we're going to do make build hyphen Python. Python equals dollar sign, which, and we're going to say Python 3. So again, I'm not going to run this because I've already done it. And uh, previous commenters have told me that continuously making and building things can ruin your Raspberry Pi. So you're going to run that and it will successfully run. 
and then we're going to install make sure you have the most up-to-date Python so go ahead and sudo make install hyphen Python all right so once those two have been successfully ran next you'll get into the what well, we can check out the directory and we want these bindings folder but I already know that we want to go into this bindings folder and then from there go into Python and then go into samples so how to navigate to all of those you're gonna go CD oops sorry bindings bindings Python samples all right so now we're in this bindings Python samples folder and now we're going to do kind of a so sudo so we can have the root permissions then we're going to go Python 3 because we've already made the uh, if you remember we did the build Python we use which Python 3 so run text dot pi and then we have to pass it some variables so dash dash LED so the default for this library is 32 columns so 32 by 32 but we have a 64 uh, column so we're gonna go 64 then we need to tell it what kind of mapping we're using so uh, LED hyphen GPIO hyphen mapping equals and what we're using is the add a fruit add a fruit um, bonnet so what you need to do is go hat okay and this is unique to the Raspberry Pi 4 and something you might not see in other tutorials so we actually have to slow down the GPIOs um, specifically the number 4 GPIO so I found this out by some troubleshooting so what you do is dash dash LED hyphen slow down GPIO equals 4 so we're actually gonna slow that down then you need to pass it whatever text you want so text equals hello world he hello world all right there you go and it just keeps scrolling hello world now the reason why that uh, GPI slowdown is so important because let's try to uh, oops, control C to exit it let's take out that slowdown right so this LED slowdown GPIO let's let's take it out and what you're gonna see is a lot of flicker okay so let's run it now there you go so that flicker uh, doesn't make any sense now that LED slowdown accepts um, 0 through 4 the integers and I tried all of them and only 4 so that means GPI GPIO 4 on the Raspberry Pi 4 needs to be adjusted so we're going to press control C to stop and if you don't know how to do this you press up to go through the last couple commands and we're going to find the one that has the GPI slowdown there we go and let's do that again there we go hello world all right so that's how to run it all from the command line okay so let's exit out of that and now let's exit out of our command line so I use uh, go to programming I like Thani it's fine okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to display an image so this is directly from the readme of the uh, github that we did so this is not my code I only added one thing and that is the slowdown again so we're going to import time then import system from RGB matrix which is the library import capital RGM matrix and RGB matrix options and this options is where we'll pass everything that we passed in the command line and then from PIL PIL capital PIL import image capital I and then we're gonna pass it the image that you want to um, display so what I have let me go to file Explorer so I just use the built-in chromium 
to download a uh, image that I wanted to show. So it was in my downloads file. So this is the uh, image I want to show. Right click on it and go copy path. All right, so when you copy that path, so do a variable image file equals and then just copy and paste the path. And unlike PyCharm, uh, it accepts these backslashes. In PyCharm, you have to change everything to forward slash. So then we're going to use the pill library. So image equals image dot open, and then you pass it the file name. Then we're going to configure the matrix. So options equals RGB matrix options, which is what we uh, imported here. The rows are 32. The columns are 64. The slowdown, so this is options.rows, options.columns, option.gpio underscore slowdown equals 4. The chain length equals 1. Dot parallel equals 1. And then dot hardware underscore mapping, we're going to pass it that add a fruit hat. Now there are several options that you can read the documentation, but this is all we need. Then we're going to say matrix equals RGB matrix options equals options. And when you do that, it passes all of this. Then image dot thumbnail and to make sure it fits on our screen. Um, that first our screen. This not my docu This is not my uh, comment. That is a uh, comment from the library. So create a thumbnail that fits our screen. And what you're going to do is matrix dot width, matrix dot height, and then image dot anti alias. Then we're going to set the image, convert it to RGB, and then um, if you saw, it control C's to stop. So, and then uh, if there's a keyboard interrupt, which is the control C, we're going to exit it. Um, so that's why we use system, so it stops it. All right, so um, let me show you with the image. I should have done that before. So you can see what it looks like. So that's what it looks like. This is my brand name. This is my company logo. So let's test it out. Run. And there you go. Now it looks much better in the... Uh, this is my webcam and the image frame rate isn't as fast as the camera or vice versa. I'm not sure. So, but this is, uh, on my, this is yellow. It looks kind of orangey red now. And this is the shine. It reads it as white. And there you go. That's how you display an image. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment. Um, if you know what I'm building and in the next Halloween AI video, we're going to put this all together. So we have speech recognition, we have speech to text, we have a camera that can do face detection, and now we have an R uh, LED matrix. So if you're excited to see what I'm going to be building next, then please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thanks. Goodbye world.